What's going on guys? My name is Victor and today we are covering another After Effects tutorial on Mick Jenkins' Carefree Music Video. Yes, we're doing another one and that is per one of my viewers requests. I was asked if I could replicate and demonstrate for you guys the floating joint effect seen in the video. Damn nigga, let me cook right quick on the beach, couple niggas was cool and it's just about dust shot. He never smoked cush like this, I'm fire, music playing. So this effect is honestly not that hard. It took me a second to figure out which method that they were probably doing, but all you gotta do to replicate this effect is just get a little creative and then use either masking or content aware fill. The way that I filmed this, because I didn't have any help with me on set, I just set up my camera stationary on a tripod, shot it in 4K and I shot it pretty wide. So when we get into post, the frame's going to start in tight on me and then move over to my hand to the joint, which in this case is actually a cigar are, we are going to add in an expression to make it look like there's actual camera movement in there just to try and spice it up make sure that it doesn't look like it's just a stationary boring shot now it's important you film your subject being perfectly still because if they're not still it's gonna throw off this effect and make it look unnatural and then you might end up having to mask out them and turning them into a freeze frame which is just more work on your part and I noticed that when I was filming myself doing this, it actually is really hard to keep your hand still trying to grab something. What kind of helps mask the fact that you're not actually frozen in time is the fact that the camera's moving. So if you make this quick enough, even if they have like little jitters, you can kind of hide that. Now the way that we're going to get our cigar to levitate there is I stab the bottom of the cigar with a kebab stick. And then I tape that kebab stick to the other side of the table. So all I'm going to have to do is get rid of this thin strip of stick by masking and then tracking the mask and replacing it with similar footage below it. You can just as easily take these skills that you'll learn in this video and apply it even if you have camera movement. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so step one, as per usual, Import your footage into After Effects and create a new composition. So start the clip off where you're kind of punched in on your subject. You'll see that I take up most of the frame. You can see my arms kind of stuck out to the side. And basically as the video plays, we're going to go from me to the hand, to the joint, and then past. Because that's exactly how they do it in the music video. So that means in the very beginning of the video, you have to change your position and your scale and click the stopwatch icon to set a keyframe and then scrub through the video wherever you want the joint to be revealed and then set new keyframes with the scale and position having changed. And now here's where we're gonna add some of that flair to make sure that we have got a little bit of camera movement in there, not just the panning and pushing in. It's going to look like someone's filming it handheld. I took this little tip from a channel called Kellen Rec. He does some tutorials it looks like, but we're going to add an expression to the position. So what you're gonna do is hold Alt and click the position stopwatch. That's going to allow you to type in an expression. And what you're gonna wanna type in is wiggle parentheses two comma 30 parentheses. What that's going to do is just give you that little bit of bobbing and swaying in there, or wiggling in this case, and it's going to look like someone was actually filming it for you. And then this other tip that's going to make it look a little more natural and authentic comes from that channel, Kellen Rec as well. You're gonna add in a Gaussian blur right when you're starting to see the hand in the joint, as if your camera is searching for focus on the hand and the joint. So you're gonna go to the effects and presets panel and type in Gaussian blur and you're going to drag and drop that into your video. So about five frames before you want it to be completely out of focus, set a keyframe and make sure it's set to zero. Skip forward five or so frames and then you're going to adjust the blur to about 25 and then skip forward about five frames again and then return it back to zero. And now if you play that back, it's going to look like You've got someone filming you, your camera searched for focus for a second, and now you're back in on the hand, about to grab the floating joint. Now the third and final thing that's gonna make this effect look a little more natural is clicking on motion blur. So now that you've got the basic motion of the clip, we just need to get rid of that kebab stick. So what you're gonna wanna do is duplicate that layer. Now move that duplicate layer to the bottom and then go back to the top layer and create a mask. You're going to position the mask to where it is completely surrounding whatever is supporting your cigar or joint or whatever it is. So in this case, we drew a mask around the kebab stick. Now because it's just a stick, we just draw a basic rectangle around it and if we right click on the mask and hit track mask, it should do a pretty good job 
at tracking that simple rectangle all the way through. And if you're lucky, you won't have to make any adjustments, but if your track mask doesn't work out properly, you can always go and delete the keyframes that did not work out right, and then reposition the mask, and then click play on the tracker once again. So now that you've tracked your mask properly, you should have a black rectangle around your kebab stick. And if there's not a black rectangle there, that is because you have the layer below it still visible. And you can just click the eyeball icon to make sure it disappears. And now you can see that you removed the kebab stick. And so all you're really going to want to do is shift each of the keyframes over a little bit until that black rectangle that was there is now masked with whatever's behind it. So in this case, I'm sitting up against my house and on the wall behind me, we have slats of boards there. I made sure to position the kebab stick in the middle of a slat of wood. Now all I gotta do is move that bottom layer over one slat of wood to replace that black rectangle and then make sure that it's moving over the exact same amount for each keyframe that it has. Now go ahead and play back your footage and make sure it looks all right. If it looks a little weird, you might just have to adjust the feather on your mask or maybe it's just adjusting the bottom layer that is replacing that kebab stick. But once you got it all fine tuned, you should be good to go. Just export the video and now you've got a floating joint. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and comment. If there's a music video you want me to look at to see if I can replicate one of the effects in it and I would love to make a tutorial on it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.